Hello everybody and welcome to episode 96 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. And, first, a small update. I don't know if you can tell, but I have gotten a new microphone. Let me know in the comments if it's better or worse. Although I don't think I'll be going back to the previous one, it was actually just a... <laughs> just a headset microphone. Just a detachable one. This is technically more expensive and better, I just, uh... I don't know how to handle these. New technology. So... Sorry if it's a little low on quality. I'm working on it. But in this episode, our goal is, just like the previous ones and I had mentioned prior, a mad dash for as many infested caches as possible. While I may have a fairly extensive amount of ammo, I need more gunpowder than anything, but while I may have a good bit of ammo, I'm going to need even more. One of these, ah, uh, random trash. I guess I should be dumping things real quick. But I feel like I'm going to need more, because the blaze of glory, I want to see how long I can go. And I really mean... <laughs> I'm going to go out kicking and screaming, if I have anything to say about it. Why did I have coffee? What is that about? Ooh, well, pistol parts in here. <laughs> my cat just sneezed. It was adorable. Speaking of which, I have hair inside my glasses. Hold on. <sighs> there we go. Sometimes my cat walks up and just tries to remove my glasses like they're a toy. It's not the... <laughs> It's not the best way to, uh, greet the person who feeds you. You. Quiet, lady. Not interested. Is there another one? I don't think that scream counted, did it? No. You stay there. What? <laughs> oh, man. That's some janky physics. She's, like, half leaning up on that arm. Oh, whatever. Screamers are weird. Getting away from that. Is my inventory all clear now? Oh, I have an infection. Of course I do. Always infected. Do I need to mess with this? No. So, I don't have an active quest. Let's go get one. Holy crap. It's bright. This motorcycle bike is super bright. Actually, no. <laughs> now that I think about it, I get distracted too easily. I do not recall if I set up the base for the next Horde Knight or not. I have blade traps up here, seemingly repaired and all good to go. What about in here? Mmm, could use more. Maybe two more on each side? One, two, six. Well, we'll do that in the night time. I've been saying repeatedly that I need to stop spending daytime doing things like this. Hooray. What, why is there a bag here? I think I literally just watched that spawn in. Mmm, lamb rations. Very interesting. But I need to stop doing the building, crafting, and toying around and thinking during the daytime. Since I can only quest during the daytime. Scarecrow Fields. I do not recognize that POI. Also, believe it or not, it's it's daytime. This is morning. <laughs> it's, kind of, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, though. Oh, I look forward to when this map is finally over, because it's been a constant spree of storms. It's always storming and dark and cloudy. I want something nice and sunny. Maybe the next seven days series we do, we'll do in the desert. Sick of all the green, I'm going to update in the next series to orange. Hmm, orange scenery. Scarecrow fields. I think I'm in them right now. Oh god. <laughs> I am just grinding away at my bike. Going through that dirt, it's all bumps. Wait a second. I feel like I've done this POI, but I don't recognize the... Wait, nope. This is different. There's a lot of different farms. I might have just stopped by here to get parts or something. Let's go ahead and park this thing over here. Strange POI. Let's get it done. Yeah, they definitely want me to go up, but not my style. Where's the front door? I think this might be the back door. It works for me. In we go. So far, it's actually surprisingly empty, except for this safe, which is, of course, an issue. An issue that's been resolved. Get hammered, huh? You know, I'm surprised I haven't finished every series yet. You'd really think so at this point. Well, I don't need to go that way. Locked doors. <laughs> Could you imagine? Ooh, a bookshelf. Ooh, a few more bookshelves. Not terrible. No, oh, never mind, they all had books that I've already read. Terrible. Back near the first floor, are we done in here? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. Basement. An empty basement, certainly. Hello? Are we done in here? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, this place has a nice little tunnel. Also, it feels like my frame rate's dropping, so once this episode is done, I think I'm going to have to restart the game. But before that, tunnel. What the hell is in here? Relax, Chief. Also, where do you get your hoodies? Want to know where you find your hoodies? One of these days, they're gonna tell me. We'll finally find the secret to how their hoodies are so durable. Hmm. What's in here? Nothing too amazing. 
Ooh, a key rack. That leads to nowhere, basically. Back inside we go. I will in a bet, but there's something up here. There's always loot in the rafters. If you want the best loot in these games, well, this game, anything from the fun pimps. First you look up, then you look down. You can practice. Oh, I'm gonna have to jump this. Oh, boy. Well, here's our invested cache, eh? Scrap the arrows. No one cares about them. Bullet tips. Oh, whatever. Scrap those two. I want the whole bullets. Not half of them. Also, you. Time to go. Bye bye Steel armor? Don't care, bye. Not worried about the money, either. Got plenty. But if you've got ammo, that's a different story. More books that I don't need. Lamb rations. Mmm, tasty. Coffee beans, eggs, I don't need any of this. Meds. Mmm, drugs. No bottle of acid? Damn. Alright, that's enough of this place. Do I need more things from this? I guess it wouldn't hurt. At a certain point, the excess of electrical and mechanical parts, assuming I don't die too soon in will be valuable for my blaze of glory the more i can repair our oh, wait hold on if i this must have been why there was a hole in this area when i came through because going through the poi if you go down first you have to come all the way through this again not cool i will smash that door but it was unlocked would have been uncouth very uncouth <laughs> is that all your bad feeling was about, Shirley? Just a couple nerds. From the rafters? Really? Oh, the mighty have fallen. Hmm. Let's go through the locked door first. Ow. Something hit me in the back. If you could just not. Like, ever. It's just rude. Walking up and sucker punching people in the back of the head. That's my job. Let's grab that radiator. Is this it? It's a little bathroom. Oh, here we are. Anything interesting up here? Three interesting things. All of them dead now. They came from an empty room with basically nothing in it. Let's see. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> you having a hard time getting out, buddy? I wonder how long he's going to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love how he just face-planted right into that. <laughs> right into the shelf. Amazing. Let's have some beer. Goblin hose. If you've seen Goblin Slayer, well, that ain't the kind of cereal you'd want to be eating. Uh, the quest is over, so I guess I can just get out of here. Reload my gun and go. I suppose since I'm here, I will actually take this. Again, electrical parts are happiness. I haven't at all taken the time to see the average amount required to repair my base after a horde night. Perhaps I should. I will, once the blaze of glory occurs, to figure out exactly how much I need and whether or not I can get the required amount of electrical parts to continue going and repairing my wire traps and etc. Or whether or not I'm going to have to rely on a different strategy that has no wire traps or blade traps or fewer. The amount that I can get in a day and the amount that is consumed by the horde during the horde night determines what I can and cannot do for the blaze of glory each day. Always close the door. Wait, hold on, hold on. This whole time, Jen had a piano in here? Why didn't you tell me, Jen? You know what? This is Mozart's Lacrimosa in Throw Hands Major. Such a beautiful song. It's like every every villain while just sitting in their chair, staring out into some dark abyss, has listened to that at some point. Interesting side note, apparently Lacrimosa was written by Mozart, but he never finished the actual work. Apparently he died beforehand. Then his wife commissioned one of his students to finish it for him, or for her. Interesting. Sad. You can kind of sense that in the music, you know, if you're the type who can sense things in audio. I've done enough editing that I might actually just be numb to that kind of thing. Hmm, more magnum ammo? Sure, why not? Seems as though we've only got one more Junkville Saloon. Junkville. We've only got one more Infested Clear that we can do in these sensible difficulties, because the only other option was tier sixes, and uh, well, that's a lot of work. Slip between the trees? Yeah. Brrrr. Now let's check the mailboxes. You guys? No? Still empty? Damn. The mailman hasn't come by yet. Vehicles? Mmm. Sure, sure. Why not? Take what we can get. Ship sandwich. Mmm. Sure. You know, I actually... <laughs> I should have stopped in at the base to dump my inventory first. Where's my robot? Hey. No, not that. 
Inventory. Take some stuff. Good robot. That should be enough room, probably. Don't want to start having engines drop on the floor or anything. Always scrimp those damn radiators. They don't serve a purpose outside of that one vehicle mod that can be crafted. And I don't think it was a particularly valuable one either. Also, hey. Hmm. <laughs> I want to take apart this car, but I think it's aesthetically pleasing to see it just submerged in this tiny, tiny little puddle. I can't even be classified as a lake, it's just a puddle. Hmm. Saloon. Saloon. Oh, we have done this one before. At this point, I should just be expecting this with every POI. Maybe I just don't remember the names very well. But here we go. At least we get a post office. More books. Ugh, never the ones that I want, though. Hmm. What about you? You gonna have some batteries and engines, perhaps? Preferably engines. It's easier to get gasoline than to... Well, actually, I don't know. I d do you have to repair the lead batteries? I get the feeling you do. <laughs> oh no, please. Keep dropping from the ceiling. I'm loving this. Whoa, not, not like that. You came in with a belly flop. That's dangerous, buddy. You're not as cool as the other guys. You both get removed. These guys, though, they were floppy. Hey! Oh god, that actually scared me. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Watch it, lady. Getting ahead of yourself now. Hmm. Since this is the last one, perhaps I should take my time and tear everything apart. What else could I do? Who's to say? I remember when these used to be explosive. These cooking pots and this, potentially, could be landmines, but they're not anymore. Speaking of which, you can make landmines, can't you? Land. I guess I should just call it a mine. Mine. Forged iron, gunpowder, spring, duct tape. Uh, interesting. This one only takes nails instead of springs. Does it do more damage? Less damage? What does it do? What do? Oh, cap one. Is this just for aesthetics? What? Why? The cooking pot is just clearly cheaper than the other ones. The tin landmine? It, oh, never mind. This one's even cheaper. Hmm. And I don't set them off when I walk over them, so I could actually just <laughs> cover my home in them. Maybe the outside. If I walk into a zombie that is walking over one of those, it could be bad. Could be. I think I might survive one, at least one. Good doggy. Hello? Why is this POI so empty? Oh, jeez. Relax, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. Hmm, more electrical parts. This is something that'll probably be done more in Darkness Falls, whenever I get around to doing that, where I look up to get all the lights and such. Wait, this is my axe. Whatever. Still works just fine. See? If done right, anything can be a murder machine. Anything. Can these have books in them? Oh, instantly, yes. One more. Ah, there we go. But yes, looking up to get the lights to get those extra electrical parts so you don't have to run around to more POIs. Bones. Should probably keep getting those. I will need more glue. Um, oh, more folks from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't like that. When you kill them and they just sit there aggressively going, gar, gar, gar. For like the next minute. <laughs> Be nice if you could just turn that off somewhere in a setting. Hmm, electrical parts. These two. Is that six for one? Yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna need a lot of them. So I guess I'll just keep doing this. Doesn't hurt. I'm sure there's something more productive I could be doing. I could be amassing more bullets, but the only other way outside of infested caches is to craft them. And to craft them basically means to cut the episodes in half by spending more time mining. And besides, I get more XP this way. Easy peasy. A wheel? Oh, I do need more of those. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Unless you run out of them, then you can't craft any more buses. Already looted this. Mm. Man, vehicles really do have some of the best stuff. Get rid of that meat. I don't need that. I never need that. My tune for that is going to change very quickly once I start a new game, but you get the idea. Food and water become pretty negligible as you move forward in this. Hmm, or scrap polymers, might as well. Wait, clay, drop that. Get rid of that crap. Same thing for these low-tier lead batteries. Don't need them. You pay attention to the little gritty details. In certain objects, you can actually get quite a few good resources from things that you wouldn't normally think about, like the grill, potentially mechanical and electrical parts. Potentially. <laughs> Not always. These, scrap polymers, mechanical parts. See? Some things are pretty nice to tear apart. Hmm. I get this creeping feeling that this is where things start to get a little intense, right? I can feel my frame rate dropping, so probably. What if I'm gonna reload just in case? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wait, no, hold on. 
<laughs> I can see the zombies in there. Oh, the power of parkour. Also, you're jumping. If you see this, I'm tapping jump and I'm going up a bit. But if I hold it, I actually go almost a whole block higher. That's pretty interesting to think about. Well, let's get this started. Oh dear. Upsy daisy. You guys, uh, you guys coming? You know, all things considered, that was pretty dull. I thought that there would be more. But hey, it is what it is. Loot. More lamb rations. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to take place in America or what, but there's a lot of, uh, doomers here. A lot of people who are just like, oh, the, the end is nigh, because everyone seems to have lamb rations in their pocket. Everyone. Weapons bag. More robotics parts. That doesn't hurt. Speaking of which, I'm probably gonna have to make more room. Most likely. Start putting some of the more unusual things in here. Like the wheel and the lead car battery. Put my med kits back on the bar now that I'm done punching pianos. Alright. Mm mm. Okay. Oh god. They're not even trying to hide how much of this ammo they're giving away. It's just three stacks right here. Like no one's business. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just confused. Mostly confused. Let's see, what do we have here? More books. My loot stage is high enough that that previous box actually had two books. Two at the same time, which is unusual. Typically they only come in stacks of one unless you're running multiple or a multiplier on your loot stage. It just... I'm gonna need you to stop being locked. Thanks, I appreciate it. Time charges? Oh no. You know what we have to do with those? At this point it's becoming part of the routine since i never used them to unlock anything and that is their primary purpose is to be used on chests and the like to punch through them break them unlock them whatever somebody had their priority straight just a big old pile of liquor one piece to go that's over here the actual saloon i have been getting red dots Rid of this clear up some inventory i have been getting the red dots from this area over here so it is considered part of the saloon poi which is interesting suppose we'll get this truck first and then we'll clear the building mm -mm -mm. duct tape those translate directly to explosives in my mind at least now it used to be repair kits now i don't care about repair kits as much i like when things go boom <laughs> ah, wonderful. Now that is fun. Oh, more liquor, naturally. Well, this one actually had beer in it. Look at them, having consistency. I almost beat down that door even though it's not locked. You get to live another day, door. Well, I'm sure there's a batch of zombies somewhere up here, because it still says to clear. Bars. Now, where exactly do I have to go? Around the back? Yeah, I see it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love watching the zombies just fall. Ragdoll. Oh, a lower lean. Hmm. Might hear one more zombie below. Gloves, I guess I'll sell it. Ouch. That was rude, lady. I'm gonna need you to get out of this plane of existence. Thanks. Wait, it's not clear? Oh, I must have missed a room over here. More accidental bars. Locked door. Shouldn't be a problem. Right over here? I thought I already got this area. Hello? Where? What? <laughs> what are you doing up there? This entire POI is just a bunch of people trying to drop down on you, like doing the Avengers. Three-point landing. Goofy. Goofy zombies. Will. I guess we're heading back home. Since there's no more infested clears, we could take this time to maybe make some blade traps. Ooh, vehicle. You mine. And a tractor next to it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Must be my birthday. But we could take some time to craft blade traps or just set up things at the base as we desire. Hmm, all we dropped was a radiator. Not too bad. Surely? Come on. Wait, sure. Surely. You don't stand still for a moment before interacting with her. She gets very confused and starts circling you. It's kind of funny. Mm. This should all be more than enough for now. All right. Should have enough room to take this thing apart. Sure did. Now let's start heading our way back home. Take apart any vehicles on the way back. We do have, I think, two and a half stacks of both mechanical and electrical parts, but you can never have too many, at least in my experience. And we know the blaze of glory is just around the corner. 
After the Horde Night of Day 105, the blaze of glory sets in. A Horde Night every night. From then on, until we die. We're gonna need to potentially set up some complex stuff, and if not, then we're gonna do what I normally do, which is to just boorishly outweigh the game with more resources and XP than, than I should really have. Hence why the base is so girthy. Howdy, Jen. Oh, a book I haven't read. Now that is rare. Time to sell some things back to her as well. This, that, oh, screw it. How about these headlights too? I'm not using them, that's for sure. Well, Reddit, have I looked at her store? Awesome sauce, oh, it just increases the bartering or whatever books. Nah, I could buy some forged steel. Jesus, that's expensive. <laughs> Never mind, I won't be doing that. Oh, let's see. What else does she have for me? Cement or substitute? Shotgun shells, not many, but I'll buy them. No explosive bolts, that's too bad. I could take the grenades, though. And nothing else worth mentioning. So, that's that. And as you can see, <laughs> Tier 6 is all infested clears multiple kilometers away. And that's not quite our goal. We had our fun with the high tier infested clears and proved that we could do them just fine. So, now the goal is to spend the remaining of this week and the entirety of next week preparing for the blaze of glory. Can, this damn thing has to go. <laughs> I don't know how this has survived the nearly 100 days just out in the middle of my base of operations, my area, my domicile. Let's take a peek in the base and see. Hey, Jimmy. I love you. Let's go ahead and see how many blade traps we have. Dart trap bundle, not what I need. Hmm. Camera bundle, camera bundle, I don't care about any of this. Auto turret bundle. That's gonna have a bunch of ammo in it. Ooh, blue, ooh, blade trap. Suppose that could be one of the things that would be valuable of doing non-infested clears. You can usually get these bundles from them. Hmm. That sound means that I just finished the Magnum Enforcer series. Now, what does that do for me? Magnum. Oh, okay, that's actually really valuable. Now that I've finished the series, all shots with a .44 ammo oh 0.44 ammo well magnum all shots with magnums penetrate enemies and i can bolt craft of course not bad not bad at all let's get rid of these relays put them away put the switches away and we're going to be bringing the blade traps to the base but before anything i should definitely clear my inventory put the grenades in here uh where was the sec oh right up here seven point second chest robot you have more of that give me your stuff oh i don't have enough space Okay, give me a moment. There, that should be enough. Now give me your stuff. Take all. Oh, I can't. I see. Well, I'll be able to in just a moment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Half of that inventory was all 762. Gee, Willigers, mister, that was a lot of sorting. Speaking of which, I need to clear my inventory a bit here. Drop painkillers, I'm not going to be using them to make room for the shav and sandwiches. Those are actually valuable. Now, if we're going to the horde base. I think we should transfer some of our electrical parts and mechanical parts over there. Anything that requires, or that is required for repairing. Two stacks? One and a half? One and a half stacks should do. Of bolt. And while we're at it, I suppose I should grab some steel, which we have quite a bit of now. Two stacks should be fine. Eh, we'll do three. Yeah. Steel, mechanical parts, ah, forged iron. That's another thing that I should be. Forged iron definitely needs to go as well. Another three stacks should be fine. We'll bring a stack of wood. And I don't think we'll need much more than that. Yeah, that should be fine. It should be just fine, Jimmy. Surprised we haven't gotten attacked by any screamers. Christmas miracle. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever the hell. All right, let's pay a visit to her royal girthiness. Who has her own little wandering entourage. Hmm. What's up, nerds? <laughs> Gonna need a little bit more than that. You're trying to take me out. Especially when I've got her royal girthiness watching. I have to be on my best game. It's always good to impress the royalty. Ah, uh, no screamers allowed. Did I bring the blade traps? Did. Good. Let's go ahead and start out by putting those down. You know, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I could put them in the middle row too. If you can see the, the weird way that it's placing here. I'm not going to, it'd be pointless. And then one more right here. Gotta wire those up real quick. Is it, wait, did I? I repaired everything, right? No, not all of it. Oh yeah, I was gonna set more darts back here. I guess I could do that tonight. Sure, let's do that. Trader Joel's is closed. Okay, repaired everything else? Good. Let's wire up the blade traps. But from where? Probably here. This one has the least attached to it. There we go. All connected. Now we just have to see if it can actually handle it with this one generator. Oh, it's already on. Hmm. They're mostly connected to this switch. And 
Oh yeah, it can handle it. It could even have more. Now the question is, should I give it more? Should I? Hmm, where would I even put them? Who knows? Oh, speaking of which, I should check the dart traps. Did I already do this? I feel like I did. I have this, I have a lot of Groundhog Day-esque experiences, simply due to having a bad memory. All right, there are some things that need to get done, like punching through this steel, oddly enough. Only on one side, though. So, we're gonna have to do that. Bit of a time lapse is in order. <laughs> Willikers, mister, that took a lot of time. Also didn't realize how many of these blocks were already damaged from prior nights, which is interesting. But I started the process of digging out this wonderful little hole that's going to be more dart traps. Also found some blocks that are missing here, which confuses me greatly. I have to go and grab some concrete blocks so I can begin the process of setting up inside there. I need to set up walls, floors, and ceilings so that they're not incentivized to punch through the ground because they might. You never know with these things. They're a little extra. That leaves us asking the question, did I make any cement? Did I make any at all? I don't know. I haven't paid attention to cement in a while. Also, that was a screamer. I heard you, but where? Where are you? I will find you, and I will kill you. Oh, there you are. Stop it, you silly, silly little screamer. There. Repaired. Oh, you know, good point, me, who didn't ask. I need to collect my due. Anything to keep up on the duct tape. Oh, for those of you who might not have seen the community post as, well, I'm a small channel, I don't expect too many people to actually get it in their feed, but if you haven't noticed already, I'm done with the subtitling of the videos, at least for now. It was taking an extensive amount of time, truly ludicrous, in comparison to my standard editing, so I wouldn't have been able to do daily uploads if I kept doing the subtitling. Ooh, new day, new inventory. More learning elixirs and mega crush. Now, I'm sure... I started the process. Oh, maybe I didn't. I thought I started the process of making more cement or concrete. Oh, we did. Okay. We have two, <laughs> two entire stacks. Wowzers. That's a lot of concrete. Something. What? Where? Who? It's so dark. <laughs> Was there a graphical update? I think it's just because the Harley over here is giving off so much light that it's making me perceive the rest of the map as darker than normal. But I think should really be used to this level of darkness already. I usually run around without a headlamp when playing this game anyway. All right, back to the base. You begin the process of... Oh, no, not that. We need the concrete blocks. You begin the process of setting this up. Once we're done upgrading all of this to steel, because yes, I wanted it steel, it's even more important that this get upgraded to steel than the other dart traps, because this is much, much closer to where the demolishers will be doing their thing. Should have grabbed some concrete. Damn it. But those demolishers do not play around. Not even a bit. So, I shouldn't either. They really are the only threat. If there were no demolishers, if I just removed them, even the blaze of glory could go on for just about forever. But because those demolishers exist, eventually, my end will come. Eventually. I'm gonna put up one hell of a fight first, though. Let's make this a little deeper. I like the idea of having a little bit of extra room in these underground pockets, just in case I want to build somewhere else or do more at some point. Besides, the blocks themselves don't cost that much. You're not really losing much and you're gaining a lot of potential in your future builds. Or at least reducing the odds that you have to, for instance, break down these blocks like I had to with the ones over here. I'd rather not have to do that anymore, that's for sure. Next little bar. Hmm. As much as I would love to just leave this as dirt, I am going to have to replace it with concrete, no matter what. Steel. Probably steel. If you don't do this, if you don't take the extra measures, the AI, well... That's when you're risking it. It will start deciding that punching through the ground is simply easier than falling into your traps. The only remaining part now is the ground. I could actually leave the corners as is, but whatever. For now, we'll just keep punching through all of this, get the ground out, and start replacing it with blocks. There, nice and clear. I will likely end up leaving... Hmm. No, wait, yes. I'll leave one portion of the back here as concrete after I blood miss this zombie. Hold on a second. What? <laughs> Stupid zombie. I'm up here. I love when they just run past me like they're not even after me. They really just want to get near her royal girthiness. That's their true objective, and I'm just in their way. I must... <laughs> I must protect my queen at all costs. Oh no. Listen, I ain't no simp, but for her royal girthiness, maybe. She's got that thing. Now, once I have the darts, I'm gonna leave this 
spot right here, this left side, is just concrete in case I decide to go further. So this will be staying like this because it's, well, it's a quarter the health of the steel blocks. It's, oh, half the health. Whatever. I'm... <laughs> I never went to math school, but I'll be leaving it as concrete in case I decide to go further back. It'll be easier to punch through there. I don't know why I would, but I also don't know why I wouldn't plan around potentially doing so. As we've noticed, I change my mind very frequently with the Horde base, and then I have to spend entire in-game hours punching through blocks, which is not good. Could upgrade as much of this to steel as possible because, again, demolishers. They don't play around. And I've got the resources. I mean, you can even see it in the lower right. I have over a thousand. Might as well use it. Gets me lots of XP, too. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, crap. Because I hit that block, I can't upgrade to steel. Let me see if I have concrete at the base. The horde base. I should have some in here. Also, wait. Shouldn't I have a third blade trap here? Why? Interesting. We'll set that up real quick. Also, Shirley's complaining about something. I don't know what, but something. Let's see, from here, should be able to go straight to the blade trap, if I remember correctly. Oh, almost. Right, right. Come on, come on. Get, connect, connect. Come on. I know you can do it. Ah, fine. Here's what we'll do. <laughs> from the turret? Come on, to the, the turret, the turret. I can't, I can't try to connect the wires from here? Really? Interesting. Oh, we'll connect it to a blade trap real quick. Wait, no, those aren't always active. To the motion sensor? Nope. Here, connect it to this turret. <laughs> and connect. There we go. Also, that was the morning ring-a-ding-dong. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye. Surely, I'm doing my outro, would you not?